Well, President Trump could certainly use a win this week, but so could his chief of staff, Reince Priebus. I'm told that in a Monday staff meeting, Priebus tried to, you know, sort of regain control of the narrative, say, look, we're going to roll out the new immigration executive order. Everything is going to be seamless. It was went pretty much okay, but there's no doubt that he is kind of in hot water right now. Things have been a little bit of a mess at the White House, and more people are aiming their knives at him. They are hoping they can turn to health care, turn to policy be more productive. That will benefit the president, but it will also uh, help turn down the heat on chief staff. It's Tuesday. We'll check back Friday. Yeah. Margaret? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, shortly after yesterday's uh, travel ban executive order was announced, we got another little bit of news, which is that the Iraqi prime minister is going to be meeting with President Trump uh, later this month on a visit to the U.S. He'll be at the White House. That's a visit that most likely could not have taken place if not for Iraqis removal uh, from that list of seven now six countries. That's going to be a very interesting meeting. We expect them to talk about ISIS among other things and uh, we'll see if there are some other uh, leaders from that part of the world who are going to be coming over right about the same time some more meetings. Keep but an eye on that. Maybe the president will tell him next time you go to Mosul don't give him a six month advance notice. Right? <laughs> yeah. Matt? Uh, inside Elizabeth Warren's office is a map of Massachusetts and there's the law that created the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. This is the area that Republicans are trying to gut, um, and Donald Trump is, is sort of after that bureau. Uh, this was also the motivating factor. She was passed over for, for that bureau. That motivated her to run for Senate in the first place. So watch that bureau, watch Elizabeth Warren, and what happens if it, if it gets gutted, and if that provides a motivating factor, if she has presidential ambitions and... She kind of, she may, you know. I bet she does. Mary <laughs> Catherine? Uh, interesting switch in the uh, court path of a uh, transgender student in Virginia trying to gain access to male facilities. It was supposed to go to the Supreme Court because of the Trump administration's uh, vacating of the Obama ruling or sort of guidance on this. Uh, it will now go back down to a lower court, which I think is an interesting development because it seems the Supreme Court, in the absence of that guidance, isn't looking to make the grand sort of precedent-setting national standard on this. It may have to be done through actual making of law someday. We'll making see how the court, court case goes. The way it's supposed to work, you mean. God forbid on that one. All right, we're out of time today. Thanks for joining us on Inside Politics. Minutes